Say him again when you're ready, please, love. Right, yeah. So how's that son of yours? Back from the brink? Hey? After his sudden departure from nuptial festivities. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's fine. It was uh, some sort of virus around him. Oh. Pity, though. He missed a good day. Yeah. Still, you'll have to. Oh, thanks, love. You'll have a chance to do it all again when it's his turn. I don't think he's a marrying kind. Oh, likes to spread it about, does he? He might as well sample what life has to offer while he's young. And then you get somewhat limited with time's passing. Besides, as you and I both know from past experience, marriage isn't exactly a guarantee of happiness and security, is it? Are you all right, son? Yeah, you. I'll not let out happen to you, you know that? Yeah. Don't you think we're going through enough without having to listen to you two bickering? Yeah, yeah. Aisle one. I don't suppose you get at some fags when you're down that way. Can't smoke with your hands tied behind your back. You can untie me for five minutes. Oh, yeah. I'm hardly likely to run away with you waving that thing about. Sorry, mate. No can do. I'm gasping for a fag, me. And sitting here is very bad for my back. Tough. It's out of this world, is that? I've been known to eat a family-sized tub at one sitting, nearly. You greedy pig. I wouldn't mind some now. I say I wouldn't mind some of your ice cream. Tough. Ooh, unlucky. Oh, please. I'm just trying to take the weight off my lower back. I'm in torture here. This floor is very hard. Could we not sit in some chairs, for pity's sake? There ain't any chairs. Yes, there is. Aisle two, garden furniture. They're on special offer. What do you reckon? Should we let them have chairs or not? Come on, I mean, what difference does it make? Go and get some chairs for them. Yes, sir. And while you're at it, could we have some of these and all? I'm fair falling through myself here. No way. Use your flaming gun, then. Put me out of my misery. All right, what do you want? Crisp? Crisp? I want proper food, me. Meat. There's some nice pork chops in fridge. Another day will be past the best. I'll tell you what I fancy. A nice fillet steak. Oh, aye. Yeah, now we're going to cook it. Disposable barbecues. Aisle two. Hang on. You're not suggesting we have a barbecue in here? Why not? It'll help pass the time and we all need a sustenance. You're just trying to create a distraction. Then one of you will pull a daft stunt. But do you honestly think you'd be daft enough to take the risk? You haven't lived, I say. You haven't lived till you've had one of my Philly steaks, medium rare, in a clear batter roll. He's right. They'll melt in your mouths. This is mad. Should have kept them tied up. Nah. Don't be stupid enough to try out. Yeah, you all. Who oh, are you wanting to say, well done? Oh, uh, me please, Fred. Help yourself to relishes. Oh, thank you. Well, Fred. You need me, you get me back! I'm still alive! I'd stay well back, come on. Who did you ring, eh? Who? No, no. The wife. We didn't speak to her. Come on. All right. If anyone tries anything like that again, I will use this. Understood? Absolutely. No one's going to try anything. Dude. What's that? It's the stakes have set their fire alarm off. Get back. All right. Go on. All right. Uh, hey, it's Fred with some young lad. Someone's got a gun. Dean, man. We're in deep. The devil are outside. Where? Go and have a look if you don't believe me. Who's the devil? The police. They can hear you. What did you do that for, eh? You didn't have to. You didn't have to shoot him! It's all right. Put the gun down. We can both get down the stairs. Shot it, you! Can you hear me down there? You come anywhere near me, and I'll shoot this bloke. Hey, we just calm down, eh? Calm down? They've just shot me, mate. They don't care. They'll shoot anyone. They'll shoot you! 
No! What the flaming hell do you think you're doing, fat man? Do you want to die, eh? Do you want him to die? I don't want anyone to die. And what do you think you're doing? Bursting in here, making me jump, eh? Did you not hear? I said, if anyone comes near me, I'll kill him. I mean it. I don't care no more. I'll kill him. Then I'll kill you. Then I'll kill myself. Take me as your hostage. Let him go. Let him go, Leg, please. Let him go, please. You don't need to, was it? I'll stay with you. I'm not going nowhere. Just shut up, will you, both of you? All right. Well, shut up, won't we? There's two of you and two in my heading. If you don't shut your mouths, I swear, I'll put a bullet in both your brains. I mean it. Let him go. I'll stop here instead. I told you to shut up. There's no point in us both being here. Let him go. I'll stay with you. Go on, then. Go on, get out, fat man. He said you can go, so go! I'm not leaving without you. This is your last chance. I'm warning you. Will you stop being so stupid and just go? I'm stopping. Get out! Go on! Go on! Just, just go! I'm letting you go. I'll give the orders. I've got the gun. Do you want to die, eh? Is that what you want? Do you want me to blow your brains out? Cos I will. I'll shoot ya! Oh, oh, please don't have me, please. Leave him, I've got gone. You're right. The eyes meeting like clappers. I think that's a good sign. This is Fred Elliott speaking. You can come up now, it's safe. I've got the gun and the man is on the floor. Saved my life. I was looking down the barrel of a gun, and my own son snatched me from the jaws of death, or whatever you call it. I don't deserve him, Audrey. <laughs> I hope he's all right. Thanks very much. Thanks. Thought we'd be getting that old answer six questions. It's called debriefing. See, are you sure it's all right me stopping? I could just as easy go home. Hey, don't be daft. We're family, aren't we? Family stick together at times like oh, this. Thank you. Hey! You did a very brave thing last night. We owe you one. You'll never be short of a nice piece of meat while I'm around. Thanks. That's nice of you to say so. I mean it. We owe you a debt of gratitude. Thank you. That's right. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night. I mean, good morning. Ah, it is. A very, very good morning. There's not much point in going to bed, is there? I'm not going to get much sleep. No, I could do with a drink. I don't mean that hospital tea. Hey, I bought a bottle of scotch the other day. Now you're talking, I say, now you're talking. I'll never forget what you did. And I'll never forget what you did. I think you're both as bad as each other. I just can't work out whether you're brave or stupid. Out and a bit of both, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Staying out here, are you coming in? <laughs> Thank you.